Hey everyone, this is Phantom. I'm back with another video and today I'm going to show you how to install KDE Plasma Desktop on PopOS. Now the question is, why do you want to install KDE Plasma Desktop? And the straight answer would be to make your desktop look more aesthetic. Because the KDE Plasma Desktop environment gives you a lot of customization power that you can use to change the look of your entire desktop environment. There's literally like hundreds of themes and widgets. Now if you install KDE Plasma Desktop, doesn't mean that you can't go back to your default desktop environment. So for PopOS, it is GNOME desktop environment. You can switch between those two desktop environments once you have installed KDE Plasma Desktop. If you don't like the KDE Plasma Desktop environment, then you can always switch back to GNOME. All you have to do is just select the desktop environment you want to log into from the login screen. And that is it. So let me just show you how to install KDE Plasma Desktop on PopOS. So all you have to do is just just type three lines of commands in the terminal so I'm gonna go to this terminal and here I'm gonna clear that so the first command that you have to type is sudo kpt update then put your password and press enter so there was one command now the second command is sudo apt upgrade and I'm gonna press Y and press enter now this is gonna take a few minutes now guys once that is done i'm gonna type the third command and also this is the last command which is gonna be sudo apt install kde plasma desktop and press enter and type the password and i'm gonna press y and press enter now let's see how much time does it take because my internet connection is very slow right now so let's just wait for it to finish by the way guys this was the last command and we are done with the installation and i'm gonna be just logging into the kde plasma desktop after this by the way my internet speed is quite fast right now so i hope it won't take much time now this window popped up so i'm gonna click i mean press okay and i'm gonna go with gdm3 so i'm gonna press enter again Okay, so it is done. I'm gonna just close the terminal and I'm gonna just restart my computer. So let's restart. So guys, as you can see, I'm at the login screen now and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select Plasma from here. So I don't know if you can see this, let me just closer. So I'm gonna select Plasma from here. And so there is a small icon over here. So all you have to do is just click that and choose Plasma from that. So this option will be only available if you install i mean if you have installed kde plasma so i'm gonna choose plasma now there is this pop option here as well let me just show you so there is pop and there is plasma as well so the thing is you can just switch between pop os and plasma from here so whenever you want to switch to pop os I mean the default desktop environment then you select pop here and if you want to go to the KD plasma desktop you're going to select plasma from here so i'm going to select plasma and i'm going to type my password now and press enter we are gonna log into the KD plasma desktop now by the way guys i apologize for the bad video quality but this is all i have right now so guys as you can see we are in plasma desktop now so this is the KDE Plasma desktop and uh, what I showed you at the beginning of the video that you can make a lot of customizations here. So you can go to the system settings and there are like hundreds of themes here that you can find. So I make a lot of customization videos. So if you want to check those out, you can just to make your desktop more look more aesthetic and clean so yeah there are a lot of themes over here so yeah this i know this doesn't look that good right now but after customizing the desktop environment this looks a lot better this video was just to show you how to install kde plasma desktop and if you want to customize your kde plasma desktop after this then you can check the other videos of mine yeah so thank you for watching if this video is helpful you can give it a like and subscribe that would be much appreciated because i need your support and this is the only way to support me so yeah this is it thank you for watching guys and i will see you in the next video